Okay, welcome to project number three, Office 2013, Excel Chapter 3, Visualizing Data. In order to begin, we need to log in to My IT Lab with our username and password. Once you get to the home screen, click on Course Materials, and it may take a little while. You should be able to view all course materials. And I'm using Firefox Mozilla as my uh, browser the one that I like using the best. What we have to do is scroll down to project number three and click on this button right here, options button, open. Then what we need to do is download files. You can download all files as a zip file but then you would have to extract it. What I do is just download each one individually. I click on the green button and download and download the instructions and the Excel file. Like Dr. Halverson said, be sure to note where you send it. Usually it goes to your downloads folder. A good practice is to save it to a flash drive or bring it to the desktop so you'll know exactly where it's located because we will need to access it again and eventually upload it to my IT lab. Okay, so after you've downloaded it, close and return and then you can return to course. Okay, so first thing you have to do once you've downloaded it, you have to open it. So locate your exploring E03 grader H1 XLS uh, Excel workbook double click on the icon and open it up and it should look something like this okay now we're going to focus on step number two okay and just a quick uh, reminders remember to please save often you don't want to lose any of your data you press either control s at save or the save icon up here and be sure to save it as exploring E03 greater um, maybe by saving it by another name it may not work out so well. What I also find helpful is printing out the instructions, the ones you downloaded with this workbook, and or having them electronically available, like as a quick reference on another monitor or it's just so you can refer to the steps and make sure you're you're getting everything. Okay, so we'll begin with step number two. What we have to do is set the chart filters to remove the category totals and the weekly totals. So in order to, this, to do this, we have to find the chart filters. That's uh, done by clicking on the chart. So we click on the chart, and then these three boxes right here are going to be important, so remember them. Uh, we want to set chart filters. So these are chart elements, these are chart styles, and these are chart filters. So it's the bottom one, you click on that. And it says set chart filters to remove category totals so as you can see all of these are showing we want to remove category totals so we click on that and remove the weekly totals so we scroll down and the weekly totals will remove so as you can see we've removed the weekly totals and the category totals then all we do is click apply and then just click off there. So as you can see from the chart, the weekly totals and the category totals have been removed. Now on to step number three. We need to position and size the chart to fill the range A18 to K37. So all that requires is a little bit of manual work. We make sure it's focused on this chart and then we just drag it down and we align it with A18 and then we scroll down a bit and we want to make it bigger so we grab the corner right here and it's A18 to K right here K37 so we just drag it down so it covers the range A18 to K37 
Now we can work on step number four. Change the row and column orientation so that the weeks appear in the category axis and the genres appear in the legend. So we right click the chart. It's highlighted. We just click on the chart to make sure that's what we want to focus on. We right click on the, on the chart and we go to select data. So you see right here it says select data. Right click on the chart and this uh, sub box thing opens up. Go to select data right here. And then the select data source box should open. At the top there's this button. If you click it, it'll switch the rows and the columns and that's exactly what we want to do. So we just click that and as you can see it puts the genres which were on this side the horizontal category axis labels on the legend entries on this side and vice versa it switches the weeks which was over here on the legend entries over to the horizontal category axis which is what's required in the instructions click OK so as you can see I've enlarged the screen a little bit so it makes it easier to see and according to step 4 now we have the weeks that appear in the category axis after we made the change and the genres are appearing in the legend at the very bottom okay so now on to step 5 what we need to do is add a value axis title and basically we have to just type number of downloads so to do that we click on the chart again it's always important to click on the chart the whole chart not just the inner chart so we click on the chart and you can see kind of the outline uh, you see the little um, these little things I guess to make it bigger or smaller but that's to kind of activate or focus on the chart all we need to do then is go to chart elements which is let's see chart elements it's the top square button and we click on that this sub box opens it's called chart elements and we want to add a value axis title so we click on, on that but instead of clicking on this which would add if you click on the checkbox I think you'll add both um, titles we only want one so instead of clicking on that you click on the arrow right here and we want to add a value access title and type number of downloads so if you look to the left side of the chart the number of downloads are here. You see uh, 2,500, 20, 2,000, 1,500. And on the other axis is the weeks that we made uh, in the last step. So what we need to do is focus on the downloads. So we're going to create a value access title. So it's a value access title on the left and call it, call it number of downloads. So that would be not the primary horizontal which would be the weeks it would be the primary vertical so we just check that box off and as you can see the axis title pops up here I'm gonna click off the thing to close that and if I scroll up a little bit you see that it didn't create an axis title on the bottom just on that side what we need to do then is click on that and then delete and then type number of downloads okay click off there it says number of downloads and I'm gonna save I'm gonna press control s so I'll save my data so what I need to do next is apply black text one font color to the value access title so again we just created the value access title all I have to do is highlight that whoops no so I highlight the value access title and apply black text one font color so the easiest way to do this is 
when you highlight it this little box opens up and all you do is you go over to the font color and you click on this uh, font color option and just search for black one it's this one right here black text one and just press the button and it applies that color to it okay that was step five now we're moving on to step six what we need to do for step six is move the legend to the right side of the chart and drag the bottom of the chart area down to cover row 37 if necessary all we do to do this is we click on the chart as you as you can see when you click on it the uh, borders kind of um, become visible that's just to show that you're focusing on you know working with the chart all you do is you right click somewhere in the chart and oh my mistake instead of the chart area what you need to do is instead of focusing on the whole chart you want to focus just on the legend so we click somewhere on the legend and you can see the legend is sort of uh, emphasized the the box around the legend opens all you do is you right click that and find format legend and you click on that okay and then this is the group that we want legend options so it says to move the legend to the right side so right now it's on the bottom but we want to move it to the right so we just click here right and as you can see it moves it from the bottom to the right and drag the bottom of the chart area down to cover row 37 if necessary so now we can kind of click off of here close this if you want okay and then it says to drag it down to row 37 and it's covered already you see our chart is at row 37